Greetings, fellow Earth Travelers. Oblix here, and today I want to take just a second to take a look at what's inside this here box. How y'all doing today? So it has been a hot minute since I've been on here. I got super sick over the holidays and just now getting back to where I feel up to doing these at some kind of a decent pace. So we are back in the mix. Now this is actually a package I picked up, or actually this is a watch I picked up uh, on Black Friday. This is how far behind I am getting you guys unboxed. So let's take a look at what's inside. Alright, so cracking this guy open. Now this comes from Long Island Watch. Uh, so Mark over there bought this on Black Friday and this is one of two I said I picked up. Uh, and this is a Bertucci. So pretty basic packaging, typical Bertucci. Uh, but there is something a little bit special inside. You guys know I like quirky, unusual, oddball watches. So here we go. Quirky, unusual, and oddball. Now the looks ain't all. There's more to it than that that makes it quirky. Alright, we got you guys zoomed in so you can take a little closer look. Now this is a Bertucci C1T, a Lusso tank. It's a tank style. 19 mil thick, 36 millimeters wide, uh, Swiss quartz on the inside, and this is all titanium. Yeah, a titanium piece, but how often do you find polished titanium? Normally, it's a flat color, texture, sheen, I don't know words. Uh, but this guy is a really nice polish. And it comes across, it may come across on cameras like just being silver. It's really not. Uh, there's almost some really light yellow tones to it, depending on the lighting. Uh, it's, it's very different. And it comes across really cool in person. Uh, hopefully I'm, it's translating into the video. Um, so we got a Swiss quartz movement. We got the typical uh, triangular loop on the end of the second hand there, with the little leaf on the pointer. Uh, that a little triangular Bertucci loop there. It almost reminds me of if you guys are familiar with the Mazda RX eights and the rotary engine. You know, has that triangle rotor on the inside, and it's almost the shape of that rotor. So pretty cool. Uh, it does say, you know, it's 100 meter water resistance. It does say titanium down over here, uh, and it comes with a Horween leather strap. Now Horween is my favorite leather, and you know they always do a really nice job, and they're pretty expensive uh, to buy them individually. And you can see here uh, that it is Horween. Retails for $220. Uh, definitely wouldn't pay that. Uh, but I was able to pick it up for $99. Again, as a Black Friday deal from uh, Long Island Watch. So pretty cool. Uh, we have a screw down crown. Very nice. We pull it out and we can of course adjust. Uh, pretty quick move, but this feels like a like a Ronda. Uh, Ronda Ronda hands generally move pretty quick, so it feels like a Ronda. I don't know that it's in fact a Ronda, and it doesn't actually list it on Bertucci's site. It just says Swiss quartz, uh, so it could be something else. But it does have that Ronda feel. Um, so let me go ahead and get some of this other Garbo off of here, and let's take a look at it on the wrist. Now, typical with Bertucci, you don't have spring-loaded lugs uh, or spring bars or any such thing. They are just uh, solid, you know, they're attached to the case. And we do have that 
you know, screw down back. Uh, looks like we've got some plastic back here. Let's pop that off. Okay, and there's our case back. It does have the screw down case back, solid titanium. Of course, Bertucci. Uh, it's from their DX3 line. Uh, it is the C1T, you know, US patent. Uh, they actually tell you the battery, which is kind of nice. So it's a 371 battery. Uh, Swiss loom, Swiss movement, and Chinese case. And of course, that beautiful Horween strap made in the USA. I uh, really do love these Horween straps. So we'll get this guy back on there. I'll tell you what, it's if you're a guy that likes the smell of leather, uh, yeah, these Horween straps have a great smell to it. I can just, for, just sitting this far away, I can smell it, and it smells divine. So let's do a quick wrist check. Now it is going to sit up a little more than the 19 millimeters because of the way the strap is run. And this, like I said, this is typical of Bertucci. All the Bertucci's uh, that I've ever come across do that. So uh, it's just native to them and their field watch style. So we pop that on. And typical NATO style, kind of got these little fluffy uh, edges. But uh, looks pretty darn good. Uh, it's a nice size. So, you know, I've got a 7 inch wrist. So it fits me fairly well. Uh, guys with smaller wrist, it's going to fit well. You've got a couple more loops. You can get another about an inch out of there. So you can go up to about an 8 inch wrist with this guy. So that's going to do it for this quick unboxing of the Bertucci. CT or C1T Luso Tank. Uh, again, we picked it up from Long Island Watch. I got it for 99 bucks uh, on Black Friday special, uh, Christmas in February. Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> we'll take a, a closer look at it uh, during our full review. Again, this is just the unboxing. We'll get a full review down the road uh, after it's had some wrist time. But I sure do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me. As always, and until next time, y'all, get out there and make some noise. See you.